Hello, my name is Dr. Ed Carlton. My blog today is about the power of positive thinking. Everybody's heard it. Everybody's familiar with the idea. You can do anything in life that you want, just if you think positively enough about it. I'd have to say I don't agree entirely with that. I'm five foot seven. It's a pretty good bet. All the positive thinking in the world, I'll probably never be able to play in the NBA. It's okay. It is true, however, that I have found in my life that I can do anything that I want better if I think positively about it in a consistent manner. Now, why is that? Because the neat thing is, we've heard about it a lot, but I do something called neurofeedback training in my office. And as part of that, we do brain mapping. We actually measure brainwave output. And I have found I have the over the years that I have been doing this, that positive thought has a certain wavelength. It actually has power. Now, most people are familiar with electromagnetism. You may have seen, I don't know, movies where you see a big crane with an electric magnet on it. As long as the power is turned on, it can pick up large pieces of steel or iron. You turn the power off, it turns, it drops it, right? Well, what's the principle behind that? The principle behind that is like attracts like. When you turn on the electricity, it generates a magnetic field. The magnetic field attracts iron. You put it near a big piece of iron, as long as you have enough power, you can pick it up. Turn it off, it drops. The interesting thing is, your brain is an electromagnetic generator. And it develops about 30 watts of power on average, every human being. Bet you weren't aware of that. However, think about it this way. The difference between our brains and the crane example I just used is your brain never turns off. So, I mentioned I found in my life I can do anything I want better if I think about it positively on a consistent basis. And the reason for that is this. Whenever I have a disruption, when I allow negative thinking to come in, it's the same thing as turning off the crane. So, I have to keep turning it back on, right? So, I just want to take a moment to share with you an idea on how you can develop positive thinking attitudes simply, easily. If you're having challenges such as anxiety and depression, what I do with neurofeedback training is an excellent choice. If you don't live in my area, you can find someone else. That being said, Several things you can do that can help you develop a positive attitude today, right this moment. Something I've done for many years. Very simple exercise. Take a deep breath, put three fingers of either hand together. It's a very simple process. When you exhale, just think to yourself, as I exhale, I am reaching a calmer, more positive frame of mind. Now, seems simple, doesn't it? But you're actually enacting a lot of different processes at the same time. The deep breath helps the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous systems realign. The thought process, I'm going to be calmer and think more positively, starts your brain thinking in the right direction. Now, the key to that is if you do this on a consistent basis, you get up in the morning, the first thing you do, take a breath, fingers together, as you exhale, I'm going to have an excellent day. Get out of bed, brush your teeth, take another three seconds, same process. As you go through the day, just do it again and again. Do it for a period of seven days, consistently, and watch what happens. Just like the crane example, you start putting in positive thoughts on a repetitive, consistent basis, as simple as that little exercise is. And you'll be amazed at the differences that your life will start to exhibit. Whether it's a new relationship you're looking for, better relationship with your job, maybe a raise, maybe you're looking for other things in your life. Whatever it is, you will get it much more quickly and in ways you can't even imagine if you simply 
think about it positively on a consistent basis. Again, my name is Dr. Red Carlton, and it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Have a great day.